We live in a country of increasing gun violence. Most people are astounded that we have so much gun violence. But the gun manufacturers and the NRA want it that way. The Republicans want it that way. Trump's base wants it that way. Congress apparently also wants it that way. The most outrageous gun violence takes place day after day and week after week in this country, and they do nothing. The Supreme Court is dedicated to making things worse. The will of the people means nothing. But there's more. There's the media and its sidekick friend, the movies. The media reports heavily and continually on every incident of gun violence, publicizing it day after day and effectively glorifying the shock of it. It definitely sells ads, you see. And there's a kind of blur between the raw meat news reporting on gun violence incidents and the movie industry. Yes, that includes all of Hollywood, and for that matter, the copycat Hollywoods making American-like movies around the world. And of course, the enormous number of stay-at-home COVID cable movies into which Netflix and Prime are pouring billions of capital investment. Turn on the TV, and you won't have to wait even for seconds before you see the characters, good and bad, shoot each other. The good guys shooting the bad and the bad guys shooting the good. The Bonnie and Clyde anti-heroes shooting everyone else for their perverse sense of justice or vengeance, for the technology and phallic power of today's guns. Gun violence through the movie. Every scene, if not every frame, people threatening, shooting, dying, and being ripped apart by ever more powerful guns. We watch, and that is on us. Why we watch is another bizarre question. Fascination with the magic of modern medicine that can save us even when our insides are blown apart. Awe in the face of the technology inherent in ghost guns and assault rifles that can kill hundreds before anyone can stop them. We sit on our potato couch day after day, enjoying the hate, the vengeance, the violence, all arguably protected by the First and Second Amendment. All things considered, our non-action is really insane. There's no immediate answer, but maybe one solution is to take a fresh look at the use of guns in our public entertainment and try to get some kind of rational handle on that.